Shut up and sit down. What's up guys, it's Paul from Upstart Games, blah blah blah. Now hey, uh, so I got my first comment on the Kickstarter. First of all, backers, thank you for backing. And um, I want to let you guys know that I do listen to the backers. So one of the comments I got was basically that there was no um, how to play video. So I'm just going to do a quick little demonstration using two of the uh, most basic models that come with the game. So representing our Freedom Coalition is going to be this Orc Protester. And we have your standard Beat Cop for law enforcement. So we're going to start off with the Orc. Now, in this game, basically um, each model will come with two actions. And you use those actions to uh, either generate victory points or rally points. And uh, we'll go over those in a separate video, but... I thought we would go over just kind of the basic attacks and stuff. So if we look at the Orc card, uh, he doesn't have much to him. He's one of the cheaper models to get. Uh, he has a special punch attack called Fistful of Freedom. Um, and he has a zero loot action, which is a free action. So we'll go over both actions really quickly. Um, so if I'm activating this model and I want to use Fistful of Freedom, I have to be next to an enemy model to do that. So I'm going to use my first action to move, and his move value is 4, as you can see there. So I move him, and now he's next to his target. I'm going to roll two dice and add his uh, close combat value, which is 3. So I'm going to get a total of 9. The cop can now dodge it, since he's being attacked, using his dexterity of 3. And so he's got... So, um, so the cop actually dodges the attack, right? <coughs> right. <coughs> I'm super safe. Okay, that'll all be fixed in post. So, unfortunately, the attack did not work. But he does have a zero action, which is loot. Which means that if he's near a building, he can attempt to break in and get some free stuff. Now, the way that works is you'll see on the card, there is a MF value of 9. So on 2d6, I need a 9, and I add my MF to that uh, to try and get 9. So 2d6 plus 3. Boom, I get it. I get a loot card. Bada bing. It's a shiv. And so now this model can now cause bleeding attacks. When he punches. All right, let's go over the beat cop really quickly. Um, he basically comes with a zero action arrest. Arrest is one of the most powerful um, things in the game because it removes a model from the board. So you can only arrest if the model has done something. If he's attacked another model or he's attempted to loot, uh, then he can uh, do that. So let's go over what he could do. Since he was attacked, he can arrest. So it works a lot uh, similar to uh, close combat. You're going to use your CQ value. His CQ value is 2 versus the orc's dexterity of 2. And the orc dodges the arrest. Which sucks for the cop. So the arrest fails. He still does have two actions because the arrest was 0. So I can hit him with a billy club, and I could do a basic strike action, which again would be using the CQ value. And this time I get a 9, so I'm at 11, and the orc's dexterity of 2 uh, puts me at 10. So that'll actually punch, and he will, uh, he will take 1 point of damage. With his last remaining action, I'm going to attack him again. Again, getting a 9, so that's putting me at 11. The Orc fails to dodge again, and that will put him at Morality 0. And when you're at Morality 0, your model is knocked down and can only 
be picked up if he's revived by a model that can heal. So that's basic combat, and, and thanks again, guys, for backing this project. I know this was a little shoddy, but, you know, I, it's freaking 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm shooting this anyways. Bye.